It's come to my attention not all of y'all know that I have a cat named Tulip, so let me have her as my introduction this time. No singing bowl, but hey girl. Hello my beautiful Libra, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading, your weekly horoscope Libra. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do Libra, because that is how to keep up with y'all in the comments. As well, if you do enjoy this tarot reading today Libra, or you just enjoy my vibe, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way. But remember Libra to use your intuition and take the cards that resonate because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you Libra. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't. I won't be offended by it, I promise you. I believe these readings are just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider today Libra but never making the choice in your life because it's your life to live darling not mine so with all that being said libra let's finally just get into your weekly horoscope today, today. so i already have your pre-starting cards starting out to see where you're at in your journey right now libra full disclosure i had to pause stop where i was at before because i had a fly going crazy it's still around here somewhere darling so you might end up seeing another guy if i have to try to execute this fly honey but um yeah we have the dreamer card the fool card in normal tarot libra I love this card a lot. Anyone that's not new to my channel knows it's my favorite card. As well as the King of Water for you, Libra, or the King of Cups in Normal Tarot. Now, with the Dreamer card, this card says a leap of faith following your dreams and unexpected opportunities. Now, I also like to point out, Libra, for those that their spiritual practices allow this or are open to this, if you're open to connecting with Archangels, Archangel Metatron is reaching out to you to work with you this week. And then when you pair this with the King of Water, or the King of Cups, you, this card says, open your heart and mind to those around you, trustworthy and heartfelt advice and charity work. So in this dynamic, uh, Libra, this is really showing to me that I can't help but feel like you're starting a new chapter. It feels almost as if you've had like a coming of age moment, Libra more so when it comes to like something emotional this could be just general emotions on things this could be a situation where uh in a specific uh relationship in your life maybe maybe it's work or what have you there seems to be this sense leaper where i can't help but feel like something that's happened like you're having a better sense of appreciation for it or like forgiveness and it's almost like this next chapter that you're starting in your life my table is acting crazy leaper give me a moment Everything's just falling apart, darling. <laughs> but yeah, continuing on with this, Libra. Um, it, I can't help but feel like this is like the next phase of like your um, journey. I don't know. I just keep on hearing just like coming of age. Um, so I kind of get this like it's for my single Libras out there. Um, this table's going to like collapse. I mean, I just feel it. Okay, there we go. There we go. Y'all hear that, Libra? I'm so sorry. <laughs> the trashiness of it all, darling um yeah for my single libras this is this is definitely a good sign um because you're starting a new chapter in your emotional journey so does this chapter involve someone else right um for those that are not single or not looking this is just showing to me i don't even feel like it has to like it, i don't want to i want this to come off i don't want this to come off as like a romantic reading because i really don't feel like this is just about love i feel like this is more so just about you know how you handle the relationships the social relationships in your life it's just different something about you is different libra so let's get some clarifiers on this darling we have the high, the Hierophant in the reverse coming in for you firstly, Libra. So um, have you guys, I mean, based off of this impression, have you guys had to make a recently hard decision, Libra? On um, Because normally in the upright with this Hierophant card, this is a card of higher commitments, right? So when this is in the reverse, it kind of seems like this energy of like cutting things off. And that's how you're starting a new chapter is by releasing this old phase uh, that you had. Uh, Libra. And so continuing on, the Eight of Pentacles uh, coming in, or not the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, rather, darling. So let's get into this a little bit more. Why the Seven of Pentacles? Nine of Wands. Okay. Libra, you guys are definitely, you guys are making some leaps and bounds in terms of character development. 
is what I'm seeing. And with these leaps and bounds that you're having with your character development, Libra, I'm seeing this more so now, you following a lot more in tune with the lessons that the universe is trying to provide for you. Does that sound corny? Perhaps, but I feel like this is the most fitting message for this, Libra. With this Nine of Wands here, it shows me a lot of character building. Seven of Pentacles is showing to me a lot of work being put into this journey that you're going on right? You're really going all out with whatever it is you're sinking energy into. Knight of Swords in the reverse coming in for you, Libra. So definitely, um, is this something that you're breaking out of? Or is this something where you're going inwardly and slowing down on terms of Eight of Cups in the reverse? Okay, so I kind of get this sense here, Libra, and the Knight of Wands. It seems almost like Weird message, Libra, but it's almost like you're having to, at one point you were really invested or thinking like the next part of your phase in your life was going to be about investing a bunch of energy into a situation. Uh, maybe Libra, uh, Libra for a while now, relationships has been have been a focus in your life or something has been a focus in your life. I only say relationships just because this does seem to be heavily emotional with the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Wands, the Swords here, with the Wands as well. But in this dynamic, Libra, this is showing to me where it's almost like feels like you're pulling back you're pulling out your resources on something and so whether it's just like you putting your social life to a pause right now um it feels like you're putting something on a pause you're pressing the pause button on something and then putting your focus in on something else with this knight of wands which i suspect we'll get a lot more detail on that as we continue this spread so it's showing to me libra where it's kind of like you're closing the chapter with something maybe you guys libra have been really focusing on like character development right we'll use this because i feel like that's kind of like the main message with this is like character development stepping into a new phase very much so coming of age uh libra with this character development and now um you're kind of done focusing on some uh, uh facet of your life could it even be emotional right it really could be just the sense of now you like it feels like you're realigning your focuses and making time for something else libra y'all see how i'm still messing with this table i don't know why it's being so difficult right now darling but the show must go on honey so let's see how this storyline progresses. Queen of Earth, Queen of Pentacles. This makes sense, right? This is like almost like, yeah, you f handle your emotions, handle all this, you handle like the development part, and then you're stepping into this Queen of Pentacles energy. This card says making time for those around you, a sensible approach, dealing with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. So even though, Libra, I'm getting such a situation here where you're stepping into like a new phase, again, it does feel like you're there is some type of bittersweet like closure that you're going through because of that king of water. I kind of want to pull a couple of cards just involved uh, with that in mind, Libra, before we get into this Queen of Pentacles in specific, right? Because with this Queen of Pentacles, this is showing to me like you're all about about your money, right? Well, I don't want to say all about your money, but all about like what feels good to you, right? And doing the things that feel good to in your sense. So you have the Wheel of Fortune coming in here. So Libra, do you already have this sense that things are like in the works or changing up for you? And so it seems like you're just making... Because I feel like you're making time for something. Like, I feel like there's a reason as to... Like, I'm feeling like the sense of a closure and putting something to down, like putting a book down and starting a different book, almost. The Magician card in the reverse coming in here, as well as the Chariot card. So it's almost like you're done fighting a situation. This is almost like you're done uh, beating your head against a brick wall. That's kind of an aggressive way, Velka. So it's almost like, let's just say that you realize that you've hit a, like, a, uh, like a point, uh, a fight, uh, <laughs> I say get my words out, now I can't speak because I'm trying to get the message out, uh, Libra. But this is giving me so much of a point where it's just like you've hit like a break point or whatever with some facet of your life where you're just like, all right, there's no point in me feeding energy into this right now. It is what it is. Let me like focus in on something else, focus in on my money. Since right now, like it's almost like since right now, relationships may not be your thing right now. You know, maybe social life is just going to have to be on pause and you're just needing to Focus, again, Queen of Earth, Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you get the point, Libra, but y'all already know I'm long-winded. So the Death card coming up in the reverse here. So 
And then we have the Ten of Pentacles coming in here. There's this fly, honey. So yeah, there's definitely this sense of where it's like, even with that, it's because notice Libra how you're not getting any like sword cards where it's like, okay, this is like a bunch of pain, like dead and whatever. It does feel like you're just putting something onto the side with this death card um, in the reverse. Like you're being like, we're not, this is not over, but I have to put my focus in on my money, honey. This 10 of pentacles. I really do feel like uh, Libra, a lot of you guys are having a very strong sense on something of what you need to um, focus in on your life, right? To bring in that stability. So this is the money honey card as well, right? But this is a card of talking about just like that stability, where you're going to be putting your roots in. It feels like you are thinking long-term right now, Libra, with this queen of pentacles. Um, the lover's card in the reverse, definitely an interesting dynamic. Like you guys, Libra are disconnecting from something more and more to make time for this 10 of pentacles. And then you have the Nine of Pentacles This for this uh, Lover's card. So it's showing to me, yeah, this being in the reverse as well, Libra, there's something that was just, just counterproductive or counter, you know, get, this just wasn't assisting you along in your path and actually getting in the way of your creation process. It was almost like a distraction um, at this point. And so now you're just, yeah, it feels like you're putting something to the side, Libra. Let's see how this ends for this week. The Renewal card, honey. Number 20, Archangel Jerome, you'll two for numerology, darling. This card says, review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. Come on, Libra, right? This literally is the card that I was thinking about and I was kind of referencing where it's just like you hit that wall and now you're just like, all right, you got to go in this direction now. Um, yeah, so it does show to me, Libra, you're walking away from something, you're moving into a new direction. But I feel like this is more so like, just again, more so just reallocating your energies, making time for this thing that's like, you have a good feeling about. Three cards just came flying out, Libra. And so these three cards, gorgeous cards, the star card, the eight of wands, and the seven of wands. You have a really good, strong feeling about something coming up for you, Libra. There's going to be a very... I mark my words, I would say there's going to be a very huge pivotal moment for you when it comes to the star moment. And I feel like that's part of the reason why um, with that king of water, this like you're putting things to the side. It's like you're prepping. You're prepping for a very big moment. I think it's a beautiful moment, right? With this eight of wands here and the seven of wands here, it's showing to me there's a lot of success wrapped around getting, I say success, whatever that star is for you, Libra. It's wrapped around you um, making more time for these, like this, you know, with you redirecting Libra, it's almost like with the eight of wands, seven of wands, your more time that you make into sinking into this passion, whatever you had, uh, with that knight of wands as well, something's going to stick and it's going to stick really good. I feel like this is not like a waste of, uh, for you, Libra, in terms of like making extra time for some type of passion that you're having that you're trying to really obtain. It feels like the more energy that you sink into this thing now, the more time that you make just for this and, you know, make the sacrifice of not having as much of a social life or what have you, it's going to be really worthy, worthy of it. Temperance card in the reverse, now is the time, Libra. Um, very, very powerful reading for you guys for your general portion. So now is the time. This is not a time to be waiting, Libra. Make all the time really focus in on what it is you're trying to create. There's something really working out in your favor, uh, Libra. So whew, that was a lot, darling. So let's now see, Libra, um, what's going on for your social life this week, though I feel like I already have an impression on that just from your general question, darling. But um, let's see what's going on for my Libra social life. Nine of Fire. So don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Whatever your social situation is, however you're handling yourself right now, Libra, with some type of relationship in your life, um, you're doing what's best for you. And I don't know what that looks like for you, Libra, on like what that means for what, how you're handling that situation. But stick with stick to your guns. It may feel it may feel bad right now, or it may feel really good. Whatever. There's some type of like. How you're handling a social situation seems to be just like stick to your guns, essentially, Libra. So let's see if we can get any more clarifiers. The Hermit card is definitely like separating yourself, Libra. It feels like you're closing yourself off, becoming more reserved with an energy. Could be in general, honey. Um, the Five of Cups in the reverse. 
coming in here. Was this in the reverse? Yeah, this was in the reverse. Was this in? Yeah, this was in the reverse. Five of Cups in the reverse. So you don't want to be looking back on this. You're really just like moving on. And then the Four of Cups in the in the reverse as well. Yeah, Libra, there's something that you're some type of social relationship that you have going on, Libra, where you're just like. Ah, oh, should I handle this differently? Should, you know, am I doing something wrong in this, right? You're in your head about this and you're getting such an affirmation from spirit or whatever you choose to believe in, darling, just even the tarot cards, Libra. But this nine of fire here is really telling me to stick to your guns with however, however you are handling your current situation. Do not turn back, darling. Do not try to give this a second, third, fourth chance or whatever this is for you. Stick to your guns. Keep looking down your path. Do not look side to side. Um, do not text, send them that text to Libra. Like, stick to your guns, really. Um, so take that message as you will, honey. Uh, now, Libra, let's get into your financial and your wealth situation this week. I'm really excited for this portion just because I feel like that's what the general portion of your reading was talking about, Libra. It was your career, to be completely honest. <sighs> let's see here. We have the Magician card, and I am confirmed on this, Libra. So the Magician card, Archangel Raziel, you are ready. You have the resources uh, or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. So, Libra, I mean, do we even need to go into too much detail Detail with this? The uh, Magician card is follows suit right after the Fool, which is how we started your reading with. Libra, can we take that moment, right? Zero, one, right? As the fool, you be go into this new journey head first, right? Something, Libra, y'all's readings recently, for especially for your work life, has been really good. Um, so I'm really excited to see, to see uh, like how things are going to be panning, continually, continually panning out for you, Libra. Let's get some more uh, cards for this, though. Get some more clarifiers on this magician. We have the Strength card in the reverse. Okay. We have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, Libra. The Page of Wands in the reverse. Libra, King of Wands. So there's something that, Libra, you are so insecure about, darling. This thing that you're trying to manifest, this thing that you're wanting to put more energy into for your career, calling you out right now that you yourself these cards right here showing to me that you feel like you would not have you wouldn't be successful you wouldn't this wouldn't work out that you wouldn't make the money you wouldn't be able to self-sustain yourself just a lot of um self-sabotaging energy just a lot of self-deprecation energy here libra where you're not honoring yourself and acknowledging your own potential king of wands is telling is a card of where it's just like just do it lead with passion be a trailblazer libra right you kind of just have to do it you have to be act proactive you got to put as much energy as you can into the situation if you want it to work out you willing to bet on yourself libra you willing to bet on yourself but yeah overall like you guys have a beautiful reading libra i feel like i don't need to pull any more cards so i'm gonna end your reading here but if you did enjoy this tarot reading this today uh libra i would really appreciate it if you gave this video a like and subscribe let me know what uh cards resonated with you the most in this reading um if you did enjoy this reading and you would like to book a private reading with me my website is simply velka my social medias are all simply velka tiktok instagram twitter darling everything simply velka and i hope i can connect with you sometime in the near future libra i love you so much